Beauty Boutique. I'm Bren. Thank you for joining me for today's Boxy Charm unboxing. It's actually the Boxy Lux. It's a quarterly box and you pay a little bit more for it. I think it's $25 more or $35 more. I will put everything um, down in the description box for you guys, all the information. But um, so this just came in the mail and I wanted to open it with you guys. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, well, that's different. Okay. Um, staying well here. I just want to show you guys. So let me take this out. Um, this is all bent up. This is my list of products that the box contains. Um, this always comes. And while we're here, I'm going to show you I'm number um, variation 14. Uh, but putting that aside for just a moment, I just, this is really unusual. This weird paper, which is just basically laying on top. Okay, I have not opened this yet. It's just laying on top, doing really serving no purpose at all, as far as I can tell. Um, okay, first of all, I notice a really strong scent coming from the box, and I can see that it's likely this guy right here, um, because it looks like, obviously, this <laughs> you know came apart in transit. Here's the cap or the cover. And then, oh, here we go. Here's the little nozzle for it. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if we can get that back together. I'll just press it on. Okay, well, it is working, so that's good. But So that obviously um, fell apart in transit, likely due to the fact that this was packaged very recklessly. I mean, I'm really disappointed. I'm not impressed at all right now with BoxyCharm. And this is a Boxy Lux. This was not, you know, you, you pay extra for this every month, or I mean every um, you, quarterly, every three months, you pay extra for this. And this is the March Boxy Lux. What's a little strange to me, you guys, is it seems they've replaced this, this little kind of cushion, uh, protective um, backing here with this, which I'm assuming is for, you know, to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. I can appreciate that. However, if you're gonna send that, why, why is this box so big? I mean, there's literally, look at, th this box could have been a quarter of the size. So I guess to me, that's very counterproductive. I don't understand. I don't have to understand. It is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and just get into these products, you guys. We have the, QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector, formulated exclusively for the upper lip area. Lip Line Corrector targets fine line and wrinkles. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother youthful appearance. And this retails for $200. Wow, okay, that's, that's really interesting. All right, we'll go with that. Then we have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom and Coco Cabana Cream Duo. This duo of Sol de Janeiro's iconic body creams comes complete with the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which helps to visibly tighten the appearance of skin with an addictive pistachio and salted caramel scent. The Coco Cabana Body Cream provides 72 hours of hydration with a deliciously complex fragrance of young green coconut cream tropical orchid and toasted praline um this re these retail for four, 15 dollars for this set um, i don't know you guys so from what my understanding boxy Lux is supposed to have eight full-size products this is eight products but these are definitely obviously not a full size i mean they're tiny these are like a deluxe sample and i'm not thrilled about that now don't get me wrong this box you know, there's always one or maybe two things I can use, but for the most part, they keep sending me things that are basically the complete opposite of the quiz that I've filled out for them on multiple occasions. Um, you know, I ask for neutrals and I ask for makeup, very little skin care. I wish that they would just not ask those questions if they're not going to, you know, if, if they're not even going to look at it. Um, but that's just, that's just my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and, and smell this Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. Um, it smells all right. It's not my favorite. It to me, it just kind of smells like almost a smells like an old pipe. <laughs> Honestly, it smells like a pipe to me. I don't know. Anyone else? 
like somebody's smoking like pipe tobacco I don't smell I don't smell any pistachio um, or what was the other thing salted caramel I smell like tobacco pipe tobacco I don't know <laughs> probably just me all right and then we're gonna we're gonna do a sniff test on the Coco Cabana cream and that's what that looks like the cream seems really nice but oh, actually I have to do the other side here so I don't that smells nice I, I rather like that but it's not something I would pick out you know if I was in the store I wouldn't pick this out for the scents anyway I don't know how well they work but um, and that what's that coconut cream tropical orchid and toasted praline I smell toasted praline not so much the coconut myself I, I just don't smell it but that's just me yeah I'm not actually not a fan of the smell of this I know a lot of people love it I don't like it that's just me um, okay then we have the boxy charm hello charmer palette this exclusive hello charmer palette features a blend of 12 matte and shimmery shades made specifically with our charmers in mind these highly pigmented colors deliver maximum payoff while providing smooth textures and transitional day to night looks this retails for 39 dollars and uh, thin slender nice for traveling keeping in your purse it's very pretty. We'll go ahead and we'll do a look with this, you guys. So I'm not going to swatch it right now. We'll swatch it live. But um, yeah, here is here are the eyeshadows. They're very, ooh, this color really intrigues me. So actually, they all do. I'm excited to use this. This is beautiful. I really like that the palette folds all the way back like so. All right, this first shade is called Boxy. Second shade is Charmer. The third shade is full size and then we have exclusive Ooh, the one full sized right here it has a real blue shift to it it looks real purple in the palette but it's got a bluish purple shift to it I don't know if you guys will be able to see that it's pretty it's really beautiful though boxy doesn't show up really well on my skin my skin's pretty light little grayish undertone with that a spoiler and lux and that's the top row now we're going to do the bottom row this first one is called unboxing then we have sneak peek premium and swipe up and last but not least in the bottom row we have pop-up and cup of Joe and that is all ten shades now we have the PMD beauty smart facial cleansing device PMD clean is a smart facial cleansing device with over 7,000 vibrations per minute our sonic glow technology not only ensures a deep cleanse but provides a way to lift firm and tone problem areas for a more youthful appearance this retails for $99 so this reminds me a lot of the Foreo that I have that's my little cleanser it's bigger it's taller looks a little bit um, phallic <laughs> actually comes with a battery little double uh, a battery this is what it looks like and here's where the battery goes in I will try this out in my skincare routine for you guys and uh, let you know my thoughts on this I don't know that I would spend a hundred dollars on this just because I already have my Foreo, my Luna, Foreo Luna, and I love that. Um, plus, it's smaller, it's more compact for me to use. But I'm not saying I won't. I'll, I'll give this a shot and see if I like it. You know, um, be nice to have one for in my uh, my bathroom and then one for in the shower too. So I'm not mad at this. It's it's a nice little 
it's a nice little thing to to try out for sure like I said not something I would run out and buy but that's the whole point of getting a box like this is to try new things so I'm totally open to trying that and excited to use it uh, next we have the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. Potency and Precision, the ultimate power couple, a powerful concentrate of our most powerful matte yet fluid pigment complex. Liquefied pigment with a zero gravity feel introduces inf infinite matte color saturation with ultra flexible long lasting wear. And this retails for $25. That's really dark. I will likely not use that, guys. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I we fill out that quiz, like I said, for Boxy Charm. Um, Boxy Lux is included in that, um, and I don't know. They've ever since the um, the beginning, they've been sending me really dark, dark lipsticks and things that I just can't use or won't use uh, with along with skincare. And I've emailed them a couple times to no avail. So. Um, I boxy charm and I might be breaking up soon. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, I'm always grateful for the one or two items that I get that I can use. The value always surpasses what you actually pay for for the box itself. But with that said, I would really rather you know just purchase what I know I want or need and uh, and go about it that way than kind of get, getting a bunch of stuff that I eventually or ultimately have to give away. So so next we have the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks Hey Sweet Cheeks. We've got a super creamy, sexy powder blush for you. This long-lasting formula goes from day to night and looks perfectly natural and flattering. Infinite, blendable, and bold, but never overpowering, dreamy, with an iridescent glow for a healthy, flushed look. This retails for $23. has kind of a, a gold sheen over the top. We'll see if that's just a, a, a top dusting or if that will stay. So we'll go ahead and swatch that. Oh, that's pretty. It's very faint, but it's really pretty. I like it. Okay, the next thing is the sponge gel. I think that's how it's pronounced. Body wash infused buffer. Sanjales, uh, I think that's how you say it. Sanjales unique body wash infused buffers change instantly underwater as you squeeze. From a sensual exfoliating massage texture to as soft as silk, our patented technology provides a guaranteed number of 14 plus washes that retails for $16. Has a strong scent that I'm not particularly fond of, but um, we'll definitely put that to the test and see how it works. Last but not least, we have the Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray. Shield your hair color from daily damage. Protect and Prevent Spray helps keep hair color from fading and becoming brassy or protecting it from exposure to environmental factors that weaken the hair. This retails for $30. This I'll definitely use. This is actually uh, a pretty nice little surprise in here. Let's test out the spray. I don't know if you guys can see that. This has kind of a strong, soapy, perfumey smell to me. So first thing we're going to do is prime our lids here real quick. And then using this old Lancome brush, I have no idea what the numbers are, you guys. They're all worn off. It's so old. We're going to dip into the shade Boxy. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. It really doesn't show up on me, on my lids. And that's okay. Then I'm gonna go in with a cup of Joe using the Morphe 441 brush. These colors are quite pigmented. I'm gonna keep that color kind of low on my lid. I'm not going up too high. And I'm gonna just get the majority of the pigment on the outer edge of my mobile lid and then once most of the pigment's gone I'm going to just sweep it in over the rest of the lid and up into the crease and well for me it's the socket my eye socket since I have hooded eyes that's my crease line <laughs> Over the top of that, I'm gonna go in with unboxing using the Wayne Goss number 20 brush. 
just going to keep that out onto the outer edge of the mobile lid kind of making a sideways V here just deepen up that outer corner I really love this color um, unboxing you guys it's really beautiful translates well onto the eyes just like it looks in the pan which I appreciate and then I think I'm gonna go into this really beautiful green shade uh, charmer so pretty and I'm gonna use my um, Sigma eye shading e55 brush for that I'm gonna go ahead and pack that on to the lid and just kind of smooth it right over the top of those other shades. It's pretty. I like this shade a lot. It's rather fun working with these colors though. That is a beautiful shade. I love that. So pretty. You're gone now. Will you come me back? And then taking the Morphe 431 brush, I'm gonna go ahead in with uh, I'm gonna go back in with Cup of Joe and uh, work on the lower lash line here a little bit. You've seen all the things, all the places. I hope it means Then using my Luxie 245 brush, this is a small shader brush. I'm actually going to use that and go back into a uh, Charmer, that beautiful green. I just want a, a thinner line here on my under eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Show Me Your Cheeks Wash by Elizabeth Mott. Peach pink is the color. I'm just going to use the um, this Urban Studio brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight, you guys. Just a little bit of a glow using the Natasha Denona All Over Glow. It's really dirty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I use it quite a bit. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you'll come home to me. Once you've traveled the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Right, guys then I'm gonna try out this lips lip gloss that I received in my last boxy charm I think it was I think it was February boxy charm but I'm not 100% sure I'm a little bit behind in my unboxings this is the Queen or Queen I'm just gonna say Queen um, wifey matte liquid lip stain and they sent this to me in the shade wifey it's not a shade that I love but We'll give it a we'll give it a try. We'll see how it is. That's what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of the Kylie um, Kylie Cosmetics lip glosses. They're not exactly the same, but they're very similar to me. The packaging that is. So I just thought that was interesting. But all right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna try this out. Kind of a pinky mauve color. It's pretty. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to do a real light coat. Feels quite nice on the lips actually and I do like the color. Not necessarily something I would choose every day but it is a nice color and it's one of the few that I've gotten uh, from BoxyCharm that I can actually wear or that I actually will wear so I do like it. It's nice. It's kind of matte not not sticky 
All right, guys, so that concludes our March Boxylux unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed this little try on. Get ready with me using some of these products. I really, really like this palette from BoxyCharm. It's actually quite nice. I enjoyed using it. I enjoyed the colors. I think they function really well. They're very pigmented and they are uh, not a lot of fallout, a little bit that I could see, but really not much fallout at all. Um, not too powdery, a really nice, uh, nice texture. Remind me a little bit of some of the Anastasia Beverly Hill um, formulations, and uh, but less powdery maybe. I really enjoyed using it a lot. So um, the blush was really nice as well. I, I do enjoy this and I like the color a lot. So some of these other items that I received, I will uh, try using and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on those. and. Uh, hopefully some of those will be uh, something that I can use and excited to try some of this stuff out. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for carving this time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. Always happy to, uh, to share with you guys and hang out for a little bit. And if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you would uh, hit that like button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to be part of the Friends and Beauty Boutique family here on YouTube. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.